Cup final, their first major cup final in their club's history. A comprehensive win in the end over Bolton, 3-0 in tonight's second leg at Prenton Park, 4-0 on aggregate. Aston Villa or Leicester City await them at Wembley. Prenton Park was full to capacity. The home fans sensing this would be a special night. Already in pole position after winning the first leg 1-0, Tranmere Rovers quickly set about building on their advantage. Nicky Henry blasting the home side ahead after just six minutes. Tranmere blitz Bolton with a ferocious first-half assault. Wanderers keeper Steve Banks was relieved to see Alan Marne's effort hit the crossbar. But when Mike Whitlow hauled down Scott Taylor in the area, referee Graham Pohl awarded a penalty and Marne's aim was true from the spot. Tranmere 2-0 up on the night, a 3-0 lead on aggregate. Rovers boss John Aldridge had insisted there be no premature celebrations, but couldn't contain his delight. Taylor almost put the hosts out of reach on the hour. Banks kept Bolton slim hopes alive with a great clearance. But in the 70th minute, captain David Kelly killed off any remaining doubts. He became the highest scorer in the Worthington Cup's history as he made it 3-0 on the night. 4-0 on aggregate, Tranmere were on their way to Wembley. The home fans were over the moon, Bolton supporters were on their way home. John Aldridge had been on the verge of resigning as manager when Tranmere lay rooted to the foot of the first division in September. Four months later, he's masterminded their trip to the Twin Towers. Torres Stout, Sky News.